the whole point, the Muhammadan, they approved Jesus to be a prophet for two reasons. Because Muhammad, he said so. And why Muhammad say so? Because Muhammad wanted to use Jesus to deceive the Christians. But that doesn't work. What does that mean? How you can use Jesus to deceive the Christians? He will use the name of Jesus to give himself a credit. So what Muhammad, he said, and that will explain to you why the Muslims accept Jesus as a prophet for one reason only, because he is the one who will prophesy about Muhammad. That's his job only. According to Islam, Jesus has no job. Except saying this. Chapter 61, verse number 6. Jesus said that there is a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. And by the way, Muslims, your prophet, his name is Ahmed or Muhammad? What happened to the name? Even the name is different, which is proven to us, by the way, that this is cannot be the real of name of Muhammad. Muhammad is not a name. Muhammad is a name given to Muhammad by Muhammad to become God. The whole idea of Islam is what? Is to replace Jesus and to have the praised one Jesus instead of him to have the praised one Muhammad. This is what Muhammad means. The praised one. So in the same time they say to you Muhammad is a prophet, but how his name is the praised one? And then the Muslims, they say, what's wrong? I mean, we have many Muhammad, you know, we call, but this is names. You call yourself after Muhammad. The Muslim, they will say to you, at the time of Muhammad, there was many companions, their name is Muhammad. That is false. Those after they follow Muhammad, they change their names. Like now somebody, his name is John. He changed his name to Yahya. So those after they converted to Islam, not by birth, Those who converted to Islam, they changed their names and they became Muhammadans and since then they call Muhammad. But in reality, there's only one Muhammad in Islam. Which means the praised one. And here you see, your, you know, like right away yourself, that Islam is nothing but a pagan cult because they are trying to teach you or make you believe that Muhammad is the praised one, not God. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is praised to? Any Muslim can answer us? If you are a Muslim, you like to join us. If you are a Lili Dawa supporter, fan, or Lili Dawa herself, she is welcome. None of you are there. Who is a Muhammad and he dare to call me? right now and prove to me that you Muslims you respect Jesus and you are better than the Jews when it's come to Christianity do you accept what this guy this girl Lily Hijab saying Lily Hijab and Muhammad Lily Dawa by the way I want to ask Lily Dawa I don't know why he named himself such a way because I never heard of something have such a name uh, just to let you know, anyone who have a basic knowledge in Arabic, he will know that Dawa cannot be written this way. What is this? Dawaha, Dawaha. What? This is what Dawa is. What is this? What is this? This is how Dawa is. This is Dawa. Dawa means medicine. So they don't know, they don't speak the language, they act like as if they know, uh, you know, they claim that they have knowledge of God, from God, but in fact, in reality, they are a bunch of potatoes. And now he is saying that according to the Quran, Jesus have miracles. You are a liar. According to the Quran, 
when we, we, we Muslim, when we, we say to the Muslims, okay, do Jesus have miracles? Did he miracle? Did he raise a person from death? They will say, this is by the leave of Allah. So Jesus have no miracle then. Either you claim the miracle belong to Jesus, or you claim the miracle really belong to Allah. So you are a liar too. Let us see who. I mean, I think this guy is just a joker. Hello? Christian Prince. He just shut up. I don't want to have a stupid uh, talk. I know that you are a joker. Yeah. Don't call me if you are a stupid, you know, you know, only Muslims, I want them to call me. I don't want someone to call me to make the voice of Zakir Naik to be funny. This is not an entertainment show. Do we have any real Muhammadan. So he is saying that Jews don't believe that Jesus had miracles. But we ask the Muslims, do you believe that the miracles of Jesus belong to Jesus or they belong to Allah? Do you see the hypocrisy? We struggle with those cowards to show them, listen, listen, Jesus in the Quran says, I raise to you, I raise. They say to you, it says after by the leaf of Allah. So Allah is the one who did it. So I want to ask the Muhammadan, based on this, where is the miracles of Jesus? If Allah is the one he did it, that means Jesus has zero miracle in the Quran. When we say, uh, Peter, he made a miracle in the name of Jesus. That means the miracle does not belong to Peter belong to Jesus, correct? The Bible teaches us that the disciples, they did a lot of miracles in the name of Jesus, not in their name. What does that mean? That means this is stripping them from the miraculous act and give the miraculous act to God. So this is God using his men to do miracles. It's not the opposite. And the Muslims, they do the same. The Muslim, they say that the miracle of Jesus happened by the permission of Allah, which means they stripped Jesus from the miracles and they made it belong to Allah. So you stupid liar, in your religion you insult Jesus and all his miracle, you take it and you give it to your God, when your God cannot even fix statistics of your prophet.